It's 9 a.m. I'm in Warsaw. We are checked out of our hotel in a quick cab ride over to the station. And we will have breakfast and be on our way to Krakow. Krakow is approximately 270 miles south of Warsaw and takes approximately three hours to the run to Krakow. The train usually travels at about 160 kilometers or close to 100 miles an hour. We always get to our reservations a couple of hours ahead of time, although I have reserved uh, seats in a couch hat, which is a private room with six seats in it, compared to a regular train car, which would hold approximately 80. It's much more quiet and private, and we only had to share it with one other lady. Okay, let's see, we're at the right station. I need platform three and four. Track four, departing at 10.05. We made our connection and it's now it's time to relax. Next stop, Krakow. located in Krakow, um, uh, quite a bit further south from Warsaw, the southern part of the country. Our first hotel in Krakow is the Vanilla Apart Hotel. It's a new building that specializes in efficiency apartments for people on the go. This is the Eagle's Nest Castle. It's in a chain of medieval strongholds, picturesquely elevated over the utterly scenic landscape of rolling Krakow. King Casimir III the Great, from 1333 to 1370, erected most of the once formidable fortresses to protect what was Poland's western frontier at the time. Our first morning finds us at this quaint little restaurant where we found all kinds of European breakfast selections. Okay, we decided to stop into a restaurant in Krakow to have ourselves a little breakfast before we get underway. And 10 zelote equals 3.29 US dollars. So a 7 zelote espresso will cost you $2.29 US dollars. Where a smoothie will cost you $4.25. On our 15-minute walk from the restaurant to the public square in Krakow, we stroll by beautiful architectural buildings, fountains, and parks. Krakow was spared during the war because the uh, German army was stationed there, so most of the pre-war buildings still exist, although other buildings and landmarks still show the war's scars. Some street musicians start really young, such as this little girl that we met on the way to the square. It's customary all over the world that you don't engage, uh, photograph, or video any street performer without a healthy tip. On the average, we spend approximately between $20 and $25 a day on tips to participate in the activities that we find in some of these cities. Cantor is a currency exchange office. You find them on every street corner. We met this colorful couple just as we entered the square. They asked where we were from. Uh, when they found out we were from the United States, they started playing this song. I was a little concerned because the U.S. State Department informed us that we should not advertise our nationality abroad. 
anywhere. In general, Americans are not very well liked abroad. While abroad, we try not to wear anything that would indicate that we're Americans. I felt I needed to change the tone, and I asked if they could play a traditional Polish song. The main square of the old town of Krakow is the principal urban space located at the center of the city. It dates back to the 13th century and at roughly 430,000 square feet is the largest medieval town square in Europe. The project for public spaces lists the square as the best public space in Europe due to its lively street life. The main square is a rectangular space surrounded by historical townhouses, palaces, and churches. The center of the square is dominated by Cloth Hall. It was rebuilt in 1555 in the Renaissance style, topped with a beautiful attic or porous parapet. I hope I pronounced that right. And decorated with carved masks. On the other side of Cloth Hall is Town Hall Tower. On the other, 10th century church of Adalbert and 1898 Adam Mikowicz Monument. Rising above the square are the Gothic towers of St. Mary's Basilica. Marijuana is illegal in the country of Poland. Just kidding. It's a lot of activities that tourists and locals can take part in. And it's a shopper's delight. Prices are reasonable. Tourists from all over the world flock here. Polish locals seem to have a sincere smile for you. Poland at night, no matter where you are, seems to take on that festive atmosphere. Street performers come alive with a variety of acts, and where else to experience than that than the public square at night? You very seldom see Krakow police. Uh, the crime rate is pretty low here. You can always experience some of the best Polish cuisine here in the square at night also. We were able to sample some of the best Polish food available on earth and it was great. So come take a stroll with us down these cobblestone streets and experience some of the talented musicians we encountered.
I'm not quite sure if I could take this at my dinner table. Now I thought this guy was really great. We hung around for a while and listened to some of his music. Even the young and inexperienced gives it a whirl, but uh, starting at this young age, I'm sure he would be quite a virtuoso in the years to come. I'm sure this couldn't happen in America. Recording. We just got back from dinner. It was a great dinner. And now, We're ready for a barca. A barca, beer, Polish beer. Some of the best beer in the country. We decided to get ourselves an apartment this time. We booked an apartment because we're cooking here, we're staying here a little while, so we had to get ourselves a, what's called a, a park hotel. Give you a look at it. It's a really nice place, it's brand new. Very reasonable. Equipped with a stove, sink, refrigerator, microwave. And of course it has a very nice bathroom. Ah, nice shower with a, a rain shower head. Of course, there's no, uh, no English channels. That's all right. Then we have a balcony. A little dark out right now. It's about 8 o'clock. It's a really nice hotel. Like I say, brand new. You can see... You can see somebody smoking down there, so... Smoking is still allowed. Sun is going down on. Where are we? Krakow. Krakow. Krakow, Poland. Yes, that's right. I'm thinking we're still in Africa. This is number I don't know five. Now a lovely model will show show you around. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have a beer. We have another busy day tomorrow, and we're going to be checking out of this hotel soon and into another hotel in town, Krakow.